blue protocol. We're gonna do an overview, updates, we're gonna check out the monetization, the features, and what's happening to blue protocol nowadays. Blue protocol is an anime action MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we start, all the information is gonna come from a Famitsu post, Amazon Games website, and the Blue Protocol Steam page. Now first, what is Blue Protocol? According to its Steam page, Blue Protocol is an online action RPG where you become the hero of your very own anime adventure. And as you see here, there's the MMORPG tag. And if we go to the Amazon Games website, they describe Blue Protocol as a multiplayer online action role-playing game featuring beautiful anime-inspired art. And then if we check out the Famitsu post, we see here that they describe Blue Protocol as an online RPG with anime-like graphics. That said, if you haven't noticed, none of them even mention MMO, except the Steam page which have the MMORPG tag. But what I can tell you for sure is the game is shared world. And look at this. These are players dancing at one of the cities in Blue Protocol. Let me ask you a question. Does it feel like an MMORPG or not? Tell me in the comments. Now, if you're gonna ask me, this should be described as an anime action RPG with MMO elements. Or just call it anime action MMORPG. Now, one of the features of Blue Protocol is its action combat. And based on the gameplay videos we've been seeing, it's going to be WASD and there will be a degree of aiming. Now, Blue Protocol got five classes, the Blade Warden, Foe Breaker, Keen Strider, Spell Weaver, and Twin Striker. The Blade Warden is a melee class with high defense. The Foe Breaker is a melee class with high damage and crowd control. Keen Strider is a ranged class with high mobility. Spell Weaver is a mage class with various spells. And Twin Striker is a Berserker melee class with high damage but low defense. Now, Blue Protocol is slated to be released in the second half of 2023 according to Amazon Games, and Amazon Games is gonna publish the English Brew Protocol, which can be accessed on Steam. This is gonna be like Lost Ark, which is quote-unquote region lock. Now, Blue Protocol is being developed by Bandai Namco, a Japanese games development company who also published games, more notably Elden Ring. And the only MMORPG I can remember that Bandai or Namco is somewhat associated is Tales of Eternia Online an MMORPG of 2007. Now, Bandai Namco isn't exactly known for free-to-play friendly games as I played some of their online games like Digimon Rearise and Digimon Lynx, and both are egregiously pay to win. Now, is Blue Protocol gonna be pay to win? The short answer is yes, of course. And this is not an opinion, guys, because in December 2022, Bandai did a Blue Protocol stream that shows slides of information showing how they're gonna monetize the game. And to keep it simple, this is how it goes. Blue Protocol is a free-to-play game that offers a cash up with various items and features that enhances the player's experience. The game uses a special currency called Rose Orbs, which can be used to purchase cosmetic items such as costumes and mounts that do not provide any performance benefits. In addition, the cash up will offer convenience features such as items that increases variations and appearances, shorten the time of the game content, and enhances the success rate of upgrading. Now, Blue Protocol also has a season pass with free and paid plans available, lasting for around 50 to 60 days per season, and purchasing the paid plan unlocks additional rewards up to rank 100. Here is a screenshot of their monetization strategy, and for the most part, those are just cosmetics. Except the consumable parts here, which they say they will sell EXP boost, healing items, and an increase in success rate when upgrading equipment, which will of course make you stronger. Now here's an update on what's happening to Blue Protocol nowadays. Bandai Namco just recently released their benchmarking tool at blue-protocol.com and it includes a character creator where you can prep on how you want your character to look on Blue Protocol. And as I've said, Amazon Games is gonna publish it and they're looking for a Q2 2023 release. Now to show you more of the character creator and what it offers, let's go check out the character creator from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay, I mean the character creation. Man, I'm loving the music. This music is real good. I can listen to this all day. Okay, character creator guys, male character over here. Let's rotate. There it goes. That should be enough. Here goes the female character. We're rotating her. 
Okay, we're gonna create a female character. Proceed. I'm assuming this is proceed. <laughs> By the way, guys, I don't understand this. Okay, I'm assuming this is the presets. Oh, no, this is the height. There it goes, guys. We can be real small, medium, and what is this? Only the face is changing over here. Oh, yeah, it's only the face is changing between these two. Okay, now M and L, what is this? Okay, large and medium. This is the height. Now, what's this part over here? Another height slider. Okay, let's make it real tall. How about large? We can be super tall. Okay. So how about this next slider over here? Okay, slim and thick. We're gonna be in the middle. Now this last slider over here. Oh, this is for our favorite size. Look at that. It's getting bigger. Okay, let's max it out. What is this? Ooh, some kind of animation. When we press this, some kind of animation is happening. The favorite thing is jiggling. And what is this over here? Nighttime. Ah, okay. This is some kind of a weather thingy. Now hairstyle, guys. Here's the hairstyle. How many hairstyles? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 hairstyles available for now. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be new hairstyles in the cash shop when the game comes out. Let's check them all out. Here's the first hairstyle. Second, there it goes, guys. I'm not gonna count this. I'm just gonna try to talk so that I wouldn't edit out the silent part. There goes the different hairstyles. Okay, what do we pick? I'm kinda interested in... Oh, I'm liking this last one over here. Now, here's the hair color. There it goes. There's no bright red. Like, super bright red. Ah, oh, there it goes. There's different shades of red. Really dark red. Somewhat... There it goes. Red hair. Now, face. I'm assuming this is the skin tone. Oh, yeah. This is the skin tone. What is this? The shape of the jaw. Now, this next customization over here is for the eyes. Okay, there's three different eye presets over here. This part is for the eyebrows. Oh, no, eyelashes. I think this is eyelashes. I don't know. I'm not aware of that. Okay, now this one is for the pupils. There's no sharing gun. Okay, now the next customization is for the nose. Hardly anything is changing. Basically, the shadow on the nose is changing. Now, this one is for the mouth. We can make our mouth real wide or narrow. Now, this next customization over here, I don't understand this. What is this? Okay, I don't understand this part over here. But this one is kind of like the facial feature. Uh, scars and preckles. Okay, let's put a scar over there. There goes the scar. There goes the preckles. Let's put some preckles. I think it's color of the feature. Okay, how about this other tabs over here? Ah, look at this. We can put some lipstick on our character. So there's some kind of a black lipstick here. <laughs> okay, let's make it red. Now, this next tab over here. Okay, so basically, this part over here is for the makeup. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at this. What is this? There's some kind of a uh, red thing over here. There's a star. And this one. Okay, let's pick this one. I'm lagging this. Now, this last customization over here is for the voice. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's pick the number four voice. And there goes our character. Now, will I use this when I'm playing the game? No, I'm playing as a male character. <laughs> and that's Blue Protocol. I hope this releases this year because we need more MMORPGs. And guys, do you want to see the top 10 MMORPGs based on Google Trends? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gamey Hardcore. See you in the next one.